Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the percentages questions that come up in the year six SATS arithmetic paper. I believe this is lesson six of our series on uh, helping the children um, with the arithmetic questions on their SATS arithmetic paper. So this is lesson six and I'm going to talk you through how we as teachers help the children solve these kinds of questions. So these Percentages questions are questions that came up on the 2022 paper, last year's paper. And I'm going to teach you and show the children how we solve them in schools. So this first question, 15% of 3,200. Now, I know when I was in school, they learned it a certain way where we'd find 10% and then find 5% and then add them together. There's nothing wrong with that way. So to find 10%, you would do 3,200 divided by 10 and then 5% would obviously be half of that, and then you'd add it all together. But there's actually a quicker way of doing it, which gives you the correct answer. And the children tend to like this way slightly better. So the first step is to multiply the two numbers that you have. So I'm going to do 3,200. Okay, and I'm going to multiply that by 15. Now, the reason the children like this is because it makes use of some of the skills that they already have. So for example, they know how to multiply a two digit number with a four digit number. Um, and I've discussed this in a previous video. So zero times five is zero. Zero times five is zero. Two times five is 10. So zero down and carry the one. Three fives are 15 and one is 16. Okay, so that's the first bit done. Now we're multiplying by the tens. Now, as I've said in previous videos, when you multiply by the tens, the children must remember to have zero as their placeholder. Just put that there. So we do zero times one is zero. Zero times one is zero. Two times one, or one times two is two. And then you do three times one, which is three. Okay, so now you've multiplied those two together. The second part of long multiplication is to add them. So zero, 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 two and six is eight. And three and one is four. So we're given a final answer of 48,000. However, this percentage means out of 100. So what we need to do, the second part of this, I call this step one, is multiplying this number together with this number. The second part, call it step two, is to divide your final answer by 100. Now, what you could do is you could get the children to draw a place value grid really quickly and get them to divide it by 100. But there is a little hack and a little quick way that they can do this, um, particularly if the number ends in zeros. And that is, if we're dividing by 100, cross out these two zeros, and then we're left with 480. So 480 is actually our final answer. Now, um, I know that there's lots of different ways to solve percentage questions, but when I've taught it in schools, the children tend to like this way better. It's also the quickest and probably the most efficient method. And given they only have 30 minutes for the test, I would recommend trying this method out. Okay, so let's have a look at another percentage question. So the next question we're gonna look at is this one, 28, 2% of 3000, okay? Now, once again, um, we've got to find 2% of this number. Now, to find 2% of a number, you divide the number by 100. So I am gonna show you an alternative way to the one that I just showed you, okay? so. If you're finding 1% of a number, the rule is you divide the number by 100, okay? Anybody who's worked out the sale price of something would have done something similar to this. So I'm gonna do 3,000, and I'm gonna divide it by 100, okay? And again, yep, yeah, get them to draw the place value chart if they find that tricky, but a cheap way of doing it is to cross out two zeros. So 1%, is equal to 30, but we're not finding 1%, we're actually finding 2%. So 2% is just gonna be double that, isn't it? Okay, so double 30 equals 60. All right, that's another way you can solve a percentage of amounts question. Um, but even this way here, children still prefer to do two times 3,000, which is 6,000, and then divide the answer by 100, which is 60. Okay, let's have a look at one more question for percentages. Um, so another question, this came up in the 2022 paper, 
eighty percent of a hundred and fifteen. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the method that I showed you to begin with, which is how I would ask the children to solve this question. So I'm going to do eighty times one hundred and fifteen. Five times zero is zero. One times zero is zero. One times zero is zero. Okay, placeholder. Five eights are 40, so zero down, carry the four. One eight is eight, plus four is 12. Two down, carry the one. And one eight is one, plus the one is nine. Okay, if we add those bits together, zero, zero, two and zero is two, and nine. So actually, the we didn't really need to add it, but it's good to go through that process. And once again, we must, that's step one. For step two, you just divide the answer by 100. And the cheat way of doing it, the quick way, is to cross out the two zeros, leaving us with a final answer of 92. So that was the final question of our percentages video. Um, there are, maybe there'll be two or three questions that come up in the arithmetic paper on percentages. Um, it's only, it's you know, there's a couple of questions, but once they learn this method, they feel a lot more confident solving those questions. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't for more videos on primary education. And I'll see you in the next video for the final part of our series on arithmetic, which will be on Bidmas. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.